is David Garash, and uh, I, I will represent the Studio of Young Artists Association, which was founded in uh, 1958. It's actually I didn't leave at that time. And it was founded by the, I don't know how you call it in different countries, like it was before the regime change. And uh, it was a state-made institution to somehow control the young artists, or, yeah. And um, after the regime change, uh, there were new board members and they made an association from this uh, um, I don't know what was it, and uh, but but this place at the seven district is uh, like sold as this as the studio, and uh, after the regime change, uh, we are working in this structure that there are five hundred members, uh, artists, curators, critics, art historians. And uh, anybody can apply to the association. Is under 35, so you don't need any diploma, or uh, you can live anywhere, or it doesn't matter. And uh, and there is a board member or a board. Uh, there are 11 board members, and and uh, they are selecting the new association members from the applications uh, which is interesting that that there is a yearly meeting for all the members in every year once and uh, any of the members can apply to be a board member and we are voting uh, in a democratic way and uh, and so, so it's always rotating. I am, I am now the president of the association for two years now. I have one more year, <clears throat> and um, and that's why I, I don't know too much about the previous things, what happened in, <laughs> in the institute. But for example, Aaron was working there in around 2007 or something, and. Um, and it's also important that uh, in every January the board members are selecting from the members who are uh, 35 years old in that year but who will be the senior members and uh, who won't be the member of the association anymore. And, uh, and what we experienced that the senior members are not so active in the association, so mostly the, the junior members are applying for the exhibition space and uh, for the residence programs, so we are always young. And uh, it's a little bit not PC maybe, but that's how we always changing and that's why we don't have a fixed brand or a focus or anything. So I, I don't want to show you from our exhibitions too much because it's, it's always uh, depends from the actual board and, or the actual active members of the association. But we have many, <coughs> I don't know, uh, heritages and traditions. Uh, for example, the studio gallery is also 57 years old. Uh, we have a collection and the archive. It's, it's a heritage from the 70s and the 80s. Uh, we are making residency program started by Barnabas Benchik in the middle of 90s. We have the we have the Clara Herzog Prize. So uh, this is the studio gallery now. It's a um, 90 score meters big space, but uh, we also have an office here, a community space, which is which we are using for uh, presentations, um, discussions, 
uh, sometimes, for example, Christmas parties like on this picture, or it's on the next morning after the Christmas party. And um, we also have a library. We started to uh, reconstruct this community space. We painted these orange walls to white, so it's not so disturbing now to speak there or be there. Uh, we also have uh, four studios now. Um, two of them are rented by the by artists from the association, like uh, Aaron Kutvedi Sabo, who were exhibited in the Chimera. And uh, this is this was uh, Mitch Miklos's uh, studio before. Uh, this is the archive. It's it's a lot of boxes. Actually, I don't know exactly what are in these uh, boxes, but we have an um, art historian volunteers group who, who are working on it and uh, digitalizing all of these uh, documents. Um, we also have the collection, what I mentioned before. It's a lot of paintings and sculptures and graphics from the 70s, 80s and the early 90s. We don't know what should we do with them. Actually, it's impossible to, to handle 500 artworks without money. Um, but if you're interested, it's, it's, it, it represents the Hungarian art scene from this period. So it's quite interesting. We have this billboard close to the studio gallery. I don't know how should I say in English its name, but, but it's a public billboard in the center of, the, of Budapest and uh, in every three months is, our members can apply to, to make an artwork there. Um, it's, it's also like, I think it's more than 10 years old and it's always changing and, and um, it's close to a bus stop so many people are connected with it. Yeah, and we have residency programs, uh, actually with the meat factory also, and uh, MOX in Estonia, and with the Oberli Association in the Republic of Moldova. But it's also really hard to to organize this because all the board members are, are uh, volunteers, and uh, me also. And and as you see, um, there are so many things what we are doing that it's. Uh, I think we don't have energy to build a bigger network uh, or international network. But actually. In Budapest, we have a very good network. I think we know all of the actors or the people in this scene. And, uh, and I think this free possibility for our members is also very good financing. Um, actually, uh, I I made this randomly yesterday because I don't know too much about what happened in the 90s. But as the older generation say, says always that, that it was very good or it was better before. What I know that in the last two years uh, we decided that we, we want to apply to the MMA, this Hungarian Art Academy. And uh, and the governmental money what we had before it's now it's reduced. So we started to apply to the Erste Stiftung and other uh, foundations, but there are not so much as I know. Um, just for an example, in last summer we had an exhibition which is budget was uh, thirty euros. It's uh, it's not a big money, <clears throat> and uh, and and this very low 
money with the volunteering pay, volunteer based board it's uh, sometimes almost impossible to survive but all with these things we are still uh, organizing one or two international exhibitions in every year now we are focusing to the eastern european uh, partners because it's really hard to uh, invite somebody from london uh, with his budget <laughs> and of course for example for me it's more interesting to make something in this this part of Europe. Well, um, future plans. Um, actually, this is the board, or almost the, almost everybody is in the board still, and um, and we are now we are examining this uh, this heritage from the past because it's. For example, we, we have a yearly exhibition in every year from uh, selected from the members and, and maybe it's not so important to follow this or we, maybe we should sell the collection and, and that's what we have to think about now and, uh, and we have to choose, for example, between that maybe we want to be a professional gallery in Hungary, or we still want to um, give possibility to our members to organize totally different exhibitions month after month, which is also very important in the Hungarian scene. But uh, but now we have uh, a kind of strategic meetings in almost every month in weekends. But it's really hard to organize in this um, working for free with this working for free stuff. But uh, so we have many spaces and many possibilities, and, and you are very welcome. Yeah.